Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Modded Fallout New Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch and something I need to explain. This is both my pleasure playthrough and my uh, professional playthrough. So I am a heavy role player and I do things in character with in character motives and from an in character perspective. So keep that in mind for this next scene. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something... Probably deserves it. Yeah. Doc Mitchell saved my life. This is Doc Mitchell's town. I will kill people who threaten Doc Mitchell's town. Is the least I can do. Plus, I like good springs. It's nice and quiet and quaint. But now, in addition to that, here's some notes I found in that duffel bag in the fort due to the mod Identity Crisis Part 1. Yes, that's, that's the name of the mod. I've never actually used it before. These notes, I read them before, but they're really, really interesting. So, the first one is Note Self. 250 caps for delivery. Wow, someone must have been hit on their head pretty hard. I don't know, 250 caps is not that. Ah, uh, forget it. This will help towards the cost of a violin. Sarah's always wanted a violin to play for our musical, s for our music sessions alongside her standard fare. I resolved that I'm not going home until I find one to, for her. I got a lead from a wandering ghoul that someone, uh, ghouls, if you don't know, you'll figure out soon, I, you actually saw it. Anyway, modded, that, that someone might have one in a highway utility facility near New Vegas Steel. If I can convince this character to part with it, I'll have a proposal gift. Oh yeah, and Sarah asked me to pick up some Instamash with chives, my favorite. Uh, once we're married, Sarah and I can settle down, and I can try out farming life. It's a period of things killing me. So, one thing I want to point out, a misinterpretation of the plot and premise is that our character suffers from amnesia. We actually don't. We aren't, we simply are not from, uh, the Mojave area. We're here on business and got shocked. Uh, this is referenced in many, many mods. Uh, we actually, we have no amnesia. Uh, for the most part. So, many mods reference this, but it, it's incorrect. But this isn't necessarily amnesia. I just wanted to point this out. So, we're going to get married. Also, a gunshot to the head has changed this character's personality. And that's probably likely due to you know, trauma, and brain damage, etc. So, just pointing that out. So apparently, we're going to get married with S to Sarah. Hmm, interesting. Letter to Sarah. Hi Sarah, I just got a well-paying contract to deliver some useless junk to the strip. By the time you get this, I should be on my way back to you. And I'll have a nice little surprise for you. I expect to see that robot up and running by the time I get back. You can maybe test it out by having it clean the house or have it take down the ruined frame of the house next door so we can set up a garden. Love your sweet prickly pear. And <laughs> prickly pear, it's an actual desert fruit and it, it's <laughs> really excellent at describing Courier 6. Hey, what's this? Now hiring. Uh, Randall and Associates accepting our accreditation for the following positions. Bounty hunter, job description, review. Pursue high-risk bounties on behalf of various clients. Use any and all means to apprehend or terminate contracted targets. Job requirements should have experience with firearms, explosives, or energy weapons. It must be organized and self-sufficient. Interpersonal ability is helpful but not essential. Unarmed or melee skills are plus, moral flexibility preferred. Pay benefits, work as your own 
work at your own pace on your own schedule. Initial contract is 250 caps. Proven effectiveness will lead to more lucrative payments. Potential reward include a custom revolver and duster. To apply, see Stephen Randall. Stephen Randall at the offices of Randall Associates. Disclaimer, blah, 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 injury, blah, 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 death, blah, 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 blah. I hope you didn't just bring a heap of trouble down on Good Springs by killing Joe Cobb like that. His friends might come looking for him, and I don't think they're going to care who was involved in his death or not. Well, what's done is done. So, uh, what can I do for you? I heard, I overheard the argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Never mind, I want to talk about something else. Who's the man and you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. I'm trying to track them out track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up though. Of course one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Do you know that robot that, res that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Does he actually... what does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Very interesting. The robot seems different about the affairs of the townsfolk, but not about your situation in particular. Hmm. Plot. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Never mind, let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Does Good Springs get many visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Tell me about the NCR. 
The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Why do you think the NCR and the Legion both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Ah, more plot. What can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. That, uh, that last statement she said, that's actually really, 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 really true. Absolutely. Uh, we figure out that we figure that out later. So uh, yeah, goodbye. Be careful out there. So yeah, let's see if we can fix our radio. This is a neat use of the repair skill. I actually, uh, you didn't see me, but I repaired my nine millimeter pistol using another nine millimeter pistol. Basically, cannibalized spare parts, and I traded some stuff. But I cut that out. Da -da 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 -da. Repair the radio. Yay! Hey, where'd you go? I guess I'll get my payment later. No. Uh. Hello. There you are. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Also, uh, M Mikoto's has changed the eyes. And I think updated the skin and hair textures to be better. I'm not sure, but I can definitely tell that the eyes are different and that the hair is somehow different. Also, show me what you have for sale. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Ah yes, the perks of high reputation. Discounts and usually other better things. And with small towns, it's just little things like this. With the big factions, it's a lot, lot more. I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Uh, I don't have enough barter. Thanks for the caps. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Goodbye. Be careful out there. Yeah, that... I would have just failed that check. There are lots of little checks like that. That uh, roll with certain skills or primary attributes. Or even perks. But anyway, this has been episode 8, I think. I'll see you in the next episode where we... To be honest, I'm not sure. We'll find out!